I hear often, what's the difference between a lager and a pilsner? Pilsner as a style of beer is a very exciting, vibrant, and lovely one to drink. It is incredibly aromatic, it's effervescent, it has an intriguing hop flavor, all while being very clean, very like malt centric, incredibly crisp, slightly bitter, and ready for you to drink more. It accompanies almost any occasion well from food to social to everything in between and it is the most famous beer style in the world within that there's also a lot of confusion within it is it a lager or is it a pilsner well it's both a lager is a bottom fermenting style of fermentation with a yeast that conditions for a longer period of time it creates a really smooth and round beer Pilsner is a style of lager, just like a Dunkel or a Helles, or just about any other beer that you can go through uh, lagering fermentation with. But the result is clean, crisp, lovely, and very drinkable. The history of Pilsner is a dynamic one. It began in the city of Pilsen, where they, in the late 1830s, had begun importing the new lagers coming from Munich. They were excited about the new ways of brewing and were sick of their sour, dark, older style ales, and they wanted to move on with the modern era. And they brought in Joseph Grohl, who was a brewer and a maltster, and brought the lager style beer with him, but he also brought a new style of malt, one that had new technology of kilning uh, rather than over open smoke and open fire. This changed the world of brewing. What it allowed is for beers that have historically been dark and murky to all of a sudden be bright in color. That with lager yeast, a little bit brighter hops, became the birth of what we now know as Pilsner. It's the largest style beer in the world, it's the most globally known, and it's taken on all different shapes and forms. Many, many industrial lagers claim themselves to be Pilsners, but they are a far cry from what a Pilsner used to be, and then also what are modern, beautiful interpretations. We look to Germany, we look to the Czech Republic, to Slovakia, and even here in the craft brewing, we pay homage to this really, really cool style of beer that's bright, dynamic, and aromatic, always evolving, but it has also swept the entire world and changed the world of beer. Freem Pilsner, the heart of our brewery here. It's a labor of love. It's our most awarded beer. It's probably the beer that we drink all around here, the most gallon by gallon, day after day. We all love free Pilsner. This has been such a journey for me. I fell in love with Pilsner uh, at an early, my early years of drinking and been inspired by the most beautiful examples in Germany. I've traveled the world to try to find the best Pilsner beer and drink it pint after pint, liter after liter. And we've had the good fortune here at Freem to be brewing our Pilsner well over a decade now. It's our flagship beer. It's exactly what we want it to be. It's bright, it's aromatic, it's effervescent, it's crisp, it's snappy, it's delicate. It goes so well with food, almost any social occasion. Man, apres moments, good time with friends, like Freem Pills is at the heart of what we love. When I look back at my brewing career and I think about beers that have had some of the most captivating moments, whether it's just great conversation, uh, great times hanging out, sporing, pushing the palate, uh, Pilsner is the first beer that comes to mind. Whether it's drinking our own here at Freem or traveling to Bavaria or throughout the United States, Pilsner and the moments that it brings forth are not only ones that are captivating because the beer is so interesting in itself, but the conversation, the dialogue, whether it's brewing friends and colleagues or just good friends. It seems to be the beer of the moment that just keeps the night lit up and flowing well. When we look at how we develop the flavor process of Pilsner, you have to look at the raw ingredients and the lagering process and the brew house process. You know, it's such a delicate beer that everything that touches it will show up in the beer and all parts need to be equalized and counterbalanced. So from our malt selection, we're very particular about bringing in some high quality malt from Germany, but we also use some really, really nice malt as well from uh, British Columbia. And then our hops, we are selecting in Germany and importing them over because we really want this like beautiful bouquet of lavender, lemon zest, 
It should be, you know, wildflowers in a glass. It should be a little bit zesty, uh, slightly earthy, and just very, very fragrant like a spring day on the palate. And then at the base of that, you need to have an incredibly clean beer. It needs to be treated very well in the brew house. And the lagering process needs to be very controlled, very cool fermentation temps and long cold storage. And then the result is this sparkly, bubbly, unique beverage that we all know as Pilsner that we love so much. Yeah, you know, I think when there's been these milestone markers in my career of drinking Pilsner, you know, I think a big one when I was working at Chuck Nut Brewery, you know, almost 15 years ago, and we were brewing what we were working towards, traditional interpretations of uh, German Pilsners, very like Munich focused. That was one of my first times I really got to dive into like tasting, brewing, and then seeing the results. After brewing Pilsner here at Bream, we felt like we were on a good foundation. We were always looking towards historical realms, but then adding our own nuance to it. Although we're incredibly inspired by German Pilsner, specifically out of the Munich region, we weren't trying to emulate those, but take what they have done and then, you know, take our own next level, let our palates lead. And the one Pilsner that still inspires me from Germany today is a Schönrohm Pils. Their Pilsner is, it's aromatic, the malt dimensions, so wonderful, and it's like assertively bitter. It's different than Freem Pilsner, but gets me fired up every time I drink it. And it was one of those beers that I dream about and think about and am still inspired by.